Hey people with inquiring minds, welcome back. I try and read science stories every day and they're not always about UFOs. In fact, to really understand stuff that eventually hits the ancient alien channel, you need to read some dry, basic, new scientist type articles to see what's coming up. And today I discovered two really fascinating bits of physics research for you. The first one happened by accident. In fact, it was the fault of Microsoft PowerPoint, that hated presentation software. When a physicist who was studying the equations of the standard model, hang on, what is this? All right, so quantum mechanics has this standard model which is known to be wrong but is good enough and is constantly being revised and how things work at the quantum or very small level is expressed by physicists with mathematical equations. So in this conference this mathematician got together all the equations of the standard model to look at how particles interact. Say particle A and particle B, when you give it force C, always makes outcome D. You hope so, because if A and B, when given force C, makes Z, it would undermine our reality. And pretty well the standard model corresponds to things always happening in the same way. I'm really pleased that that happens. But what he found, due to PowerPoint, this is such a good story, is when he cut and pasted his equations for a completely different interaction, so imagine a gluon producing a Higgs boson. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but... Subatomic particles, how they interact. So he said, A and B, this is the formula. And then later on in the presentation, he was looking at D and E, subatomic particles, and this, hang on a minute, he said. When he cut and pasted the two separate reactions, the formula, the mathematics, were exactly the same. Now, that could just be a coincidence, that was his initial reaction. You know, force A and B always has an outcome C. And when you change the things that you're reacting with, the same force has a similar outcome. I mean, it doesn't produce the same actual outcome. It just is the forces are the same. So he dismissed it. And then he has another look. When he went through his PowerPoint presentation, he discovered that there was, in his words, a duality. Hmm. A number of forces in the subatomic world, the quantum world, mirrored each other. So it seems that there is something strange and spooky going on. Is there a bigger meaning to this shared reaction? He doesn't know, but it could open a whole new model of our reality that everything is paired and mirrored. I certainly don't know. Let me know what you think. And another thing I found in rather a dry article it was about gravitational fields and amazing stuff that the James Webb telescope has found. But one of the interesting points right at the very bottom of this scientific paper made my ears tingle <laughs> as a precursor to possibly an ancient alien episode. No, 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 it's years away. But what this woman has said is she wants to redefine gravity and says, and it's supposedly accepted, that gravity as we know it only exists, this is her theory, because it mirrors anti-gravity. So she's saying you can't have 
things falling down or being attracted to each other, mass curving space-time, if that's what you accept as the Einstein definition of gra gravity, without having a mirrored anti-gravity. So she's saying that anti-gravity exists in reality as much as the force of gravity which we all interact with on a daily basis when we uh, drop something. It could easily, in a parallel universe, be going the other way, in an anti-gravity way. And they are, in the same way as the first story I covered, a duality. Things in the universe, as we are discovering the nitty-gritty of physics, seem to work in a connected duality. Almost nothing exists on its own. It has a dark or good mirrored twin, either a interaction or a whole force comes in pairs. I didn't know that. Now, could this lead to practical technological inventions? Yes, that's how science works. Some clever teenager watching this channel or reading these articles might go, ooh, I could make my skateboard hover or I could make a faster computer using possibly these principles. That's how us humans develop. That's the joy of science. And that's what I want to share with you, the viewers. If you're a kid watching this, think about going into science because you hold the key to the universe because the truth is out there.